So I think one of the reasons why you've, you've always kind of had the same, you know, body fat arrangement is, yo, cause I don't think you've ever cut super low for like a competition. Um, see what happened to me was when I did my competition mm -hmm. and I got super low body fat and obviously like, yo, my hormones are fucked up, man. Like I almost regret doing the competition cause it killed my testosterone. Like I could feel it. I never got it like tested or anything. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I could feel it. Like it, it, it fucked up my testosterone and my metabolism and everything. Um, and so I noticed that when I started going back to eating at maintenance, um, first of all, I put on fat cause my metabolism was so damaged and mm. I put on more fat in my midsection than I used to have. Right. Really? So the proportion of fat in my midsection was more, right? So it's like my arms, they were leaner proportionally than ever had been, but my stomach was fatter proportionally than it ever had been. And the thing is, is that there have been like some studies done and it shows that if you have super high testosterone levels, you will store less um, fat like around midsection and generally like more in other places but as you get like less testosterone and more like estrogen dominant, you will tend to store like more body fat like around your hips and like your stomach. Oh, like, that makes sense because women naturally store more, more. they have more fat cells in their, in their, in their yeah, in those so areas. No, that's what happened to me. And I feel like I'm like constantly kind of, I think I'm pretty much back to normal, but yo, that competition had an effect on me. Um, for a while you should and get so, your fucking testosterone tested. That's, I know see that's what I wish I would have got it tested So I had like a baseline to go off. of. Yeah, right um, Get so it tested now I, and then like 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 really like deliberately like do things to try to increase it Yeah, man, I think I should and I, again. I think it's 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 way better now like I think I'm pretty much back to normal, but um, I have been cutting like in a deficit, like not such a, a crazy deficit like I was for my competition, but to stay lean for the past year, I have been in a deficit or maintenance, you know, I've never really gone above. So um, my testosterone might be slightly lower. Mm. And the idea behind this diet that I'm doing is right. So it's keto the first three days of the week. And basically I'm cutting those three days of the week. Right. And so the high fat is supposed to really help with the testosterone. I make sure to get a ton of cholesterol. Like For a ton sure. of eggs, right? yeah. yeah, that's, that's and, the key. And then, um, but I'm still getting like, uh, in the end of the week, I'm getting in that surplus. Right. So it should kind of reset the leptin levels. There's and, a book you know, that you should check out, man. Um, I think it's called the metabolic diet or the anabolic diet. It's like, it's, it's, it's that's similar protocol. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, I think hopefully like the constant, cutting and bulking it'll help with like the nutrient partitioning mm. right so so basically hopefully as my testosterone increases right and every week i'm going to be burning a little body fat and then putting some on hopefully it kind of changes the location right it kind of moves more away from the stomach like like it used to uh, could because right? of your home your hormones are changing right and because i'm giving it so so say say someone is on a like a a six month bulk right? Their, mm. their body fat isn't going to be able to change locations, right? Because they're never in a deficit. They're never really having, having time to burn the body fat. So it can't really change locations, right? But if I'm, if I'm doing keto and at a deficit every single week, it'll kind of give it the chance to do that. And that's the idea. And again, this is all kind of, it's a theory of mine. Well, it's a good theory that is backed on science, but it's still like a theory, but it's, it's, it seems to be working. Yo, right. man, I, I like it, man. I, I like it. I, 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 I like what you're doing, man. You know.